Hi, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be reviewing habitats and the plants and animals that live in them. Now, this is a review. We did learn about habitats last time we were in school. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what a habitat is. Here we are. All right, now our learning intention is students will understand and investigate how all living things work together. All right, first we need to know what is a habitat. Now a habitat is a place where an organism makes its home. Now, what is an organism? An organism is anything that's alive. So that could be anything from a cat, to a spider, to grass. So any plants or animals are all considered living organisms. And all of them live in different types of habitats. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, for an animal to live in a habitat, or for a, for a habitat to be good for an animal, it needs to have certain things for that animal to be able to survive. It needs to have food, water, air, shelter, space, and sun. Okay? And the different types of habitats you can find animals in include the desert, grasslands, or savanna, forest, ocean, wetland and of course there are many other types of habitats as well such as a rainforest okay or even a pond or lake now for a plant um, its habitat has to have some little different things for it to survive a good habitat for a plant must provide the right combination of light air water and soil so let's go ahead and take a look at some different habitats Okay, now where do plants and animals live? Now the habitat we're most familiar with is the forest. And you can see right here, that's a deer. So a lot of this area around here is surrounded with trees. Another habitat are wetlands. You can see trees here, but you see all that water. Grasslands, another word for grasslands, um, if you're in Africa, would be considered a savanna or um, a prairie. It's what they're often called in the middle part of the country. Deserts and of course, oceans. Okay, so here is a few pictures of a forest habitat. Now a forest habitat includes large areas with lots of trees, plants, and grass. Um, the great thing about a forest habitat, it provides a lot of shelter for plants. Um, I'm sorry, shelter for animals such as squirrels love to live in trees. It also provides a lot of shade to keep animals cool. And in a forest, you're going to see all four seasons. You're going to see spring, summer, fall, and winter. Now, different animals that we can expect to find in a forest, um, we have owls, insects, possums, raccoons, squirrels, of course, wolves, beavers, birds. Here's another habitat. This is the grassland habitat. Again, that can be either considered a prairie or a savanna. Now, a grassland habitat is characterized by large open areas, very few trees. Often you'll see a lot of grass. And the kind of animals you can find here include the cheetah, zebra, giraffe, lion, hyena, mongoose, rhinoceros, and the elephant. And as you look at this picture, you can see that all the animals, for them to be able to meet their need of getting water to survive, they all have to meet at the water hole. So you see lots of different types of animals. You have elephants, and I see some giraffes as well. Um, another type of habitat is considered a wetland. Now, a wetland habitat, as you can see, has lots of water. It's also going to have food. Um, wetlands often look like swamps. The water is shallow, so that means it's not very deep. Um, a wetland habitat can be either salt water or fresh water. And you can see right here we have an alligator. That's one of the animals that you will find in wetlands. Other animals include beavers, toads, snakes, fish, birds, amphibians, turtles, spiders, insects, alligator, and the crocodile. 
Okay, and here is an ocean habitat. Now, ocean habitats um, actually make up over 70% of our planet. So most of the world is oceans. And now they are large bodies of salt water. Okay. As you know, Lots of animals live in the oceans. So right here, I can see some coral and some plants, fish. I even see somebody scuba diving back there. So the types of animals you could expect to see are fish, starfish, crabs, octopus, eel, seal, seagull, pelican, whale, dolphin, sea turtle, seahorse, shark, etc. So lots of really cool marine animals living in our oceans. Okay, and here we have our a desert habitat. Now, as you know, we've learned a lot about deserts in school this year. During the day, the desert is very, very hot and dry. But during the nighttime, it becomes very, very cold. And that's why you don't see any rocks. In fact, all you see is sand. And all sand is, is a broken down rock. So what happens is at night, that rock gets really, really cold. So it gets very, very constricted. And then during the heat of the day, it just breaks. It can't, that huge temperature change, it can't handle. Like for instance, if your mom or dad took a, um, what are those called? The little brick oven clay pots from the freezer and then put it directly in the oven, <laughs> it could cause it to crack. So that's the very same idea right there. You have very little rain in the desert. And of course, lots of sand. Um, the kind of plants you would have are the cactus. Animals include camel, lizard, coyote, fox, bird, snake, roadrunner, gila monster, scorpion, armadillo, and the meerkat. Now, what would happen, do you think, or what would it mean to scientists if somebody went digging in the desert and they found a huge shark bone? How can you explain how we could find a shark bone in the desert? Hmm, well, let's see. I know that sharks live in the ocean and they need lots of water to move around. But as I look at this habitat, all I see is sand. Hmm, what could that mean? Let's put our thinking caps on and think about what could it mean if a scientist found evidence of marine life, such as a shark or whale bone in the desert habitat. Now, it could mean that at one point, perhaps millions of years ago, this area on the Earth wasn't desert. Perhaps it was covered by water. And that would explain why a scientist found, I do believe it was actually a whale bone, in the Sahara Desert, that at one point it was covered in water. Our Earth, boys and girls, is constantly changing. Like, for instance, did you know that the Sahara Desert actually gets bigger every single year? So that's like a cool fact right there. All right, so what we're going to do now is an activity where we need to drag the habitat name to the correct picture. So let me go ahead and move this. So we can see all our pictures. So we have forest, desert, wetland, ocean, grassland. Hmm, let's go ahead and start with forest. Which one, hmm, is the forest? Well, I know a forest is going to have lots of trees and lots of plant life, so it's gonna be really green. Hmm, oh, I see trees here, but wait, I also see a lot of water. No, I'm not, I live, I live right by the forest. I know there's not going to be a lot of water like that. Oh. I see, here I see trees too, and I also see a bear. And I know that a bear does live in a forest habitat. So I'm going to say that this one is the forest. Boys and girls, if you also chose that picture, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. All right, I'm going back here, I see desert. Well, I know a desert is really dry, covered in sand, and has cactus. So, oh, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one right there. If you got that right, boys and girls, go ahead and give yourself a little applause. All right, so I, what do I have left? I have ocean, wetland, grassland. Well, I'm gonna go for the easy one. I'm gonna go for ocean. All right, because I know the ocean is covered in water and I'm going to see fish. And here we go, ocean. Actually a very nice picture of the ocean. Okay, boys and girls, if you got that right, 
go ahead and give yourself a big thumbs up. Okay. Now I have to choose wetland, grassland. Well, this has the word wet in it. So let's see, I don't see any water here. Ooh, but I see lots of water and trees here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a wetland habitat. And that of course makes this one into a greenland, grassland, excuse me, habitat. Do you remember what our other words for grassland habitat are? If you said prairie and savanna, that is correct. Good job, boys and girls. Okay. Now, as you know, our world is constantly changing. I told you boys and girls the story about how in my backyard, all of a sudden, I have a family of deer that come by all the time. And I had to ask myself, where did these, why are these deers visiting my house now? And I found out that a few miles away, um, a forest, a local forest had actually been cut down so that they could build homes. So that means their habitat was destroyed and now they're looking elsewhere for food and somewhere to live. And now I have a family of deer that roam our neighborhood. Now we are doing things to try to protect our habitats, okay? So a wildlife refuge is a place where animals and plants are protected by laws. And there are wildlife refugees, refuges in every type of habitat. So here you can see a forest, right here you can see um, some wetlands, ocean habitats, okay? And this, and we're doing things to protect our habitats on Earth and keep them the way they are without too much human influence. All right, boys and girls, that finishes our lesson for today. Please be on the lookout for a Nearpod on habitat. All right, you guys, bye. And until next time. Bye.